I'm here with the Honorable Judge Yates. It's such a pleasure to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I just finished the attending the presentation on expert witness testimony. Um, you really covered such a mm -hmm. wide gamut. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to try to do in the next couple minutes is you know, maybe get to some of the main points. Certainly. What, what should an expert witness's outlook be you know, when, they, when they are in front of a judge or in front of a jury? I think that the most important uh, service that an expert can provide is to serve as a teacher. Uh, when expert testimony is allowed by the court, the purpose is to inform the trier of fact, whether it's the jury or the judge, mm -hmm. about an area that requires some sort of specialized knowledge, skill, or experience. And so uh, an expert has to understand that the expert is light years ahead of the rest of us in terms of understanding that subject matter. And so uh, to begin with building blocks that make it easier to understand is always helpful and then to ultimately express the views in clear and understandable terms uh, by far is the most effective way for an expert to proceed. So if it can be simple yes. and incorrect, that's the route to go. Absolutely. Great. Uh, you know, what makes a really effective expert witness? The best expert witnesses in my experience are those who listen to the questions, answer the questions that are asked, uh, tend not to pontificate and ultimately try as best as they can to bring the trier of fact, whether judge or jury, around to their view of the evidence in the case. But the most important thing, I think, is to be direct, to not be confrontational, and to honestly answer every question asked, no matter which side poses it or whether the judge asks a question. As a matter of fact, when a judge poses a question, that's a great opportunity to really make a difference moving the needle. Because whether it's a bench trial and the judge is ultimately the finder of fact and can be persuaded by the answer, or if the judge asks a question and the jury perks up its ears because they assume that this must be important or the judge wouldn't have asked it, that expert witness has an opportunity to speak directly to the most important issues in the case. Got it. Makes a lot of sense. And maybe lastly, mm -hmm. what what should expert witnesses, particularly perhaps for the new people, what should expert witnesses avoid um, when testifying or perhaps through the whole expert mm -hmm. process? Because it's, it's more than just testifying. The two largest pitfalls, I think, for experts are at opposite ends of the spectrum. The first one is appearing to be the smartest person in the room. There's no reason to be arrogant when testifying, and there's no reason to talk down to anybody. No matter how well-versed an expert is in a subject matter, it's important to be relatable. And so anybody who comes off as with an air of superiority is not going to be very effective. The other end of the spectrum is not being prepared. And we talked a lot in the session about the importance of getting ready to testify and the amount of time it takes to be an effective expert witness. I think from my perspective, uh, expert testimony is only as good as the preparation that goes into it. And so an expert who is well prepared will always make a good impression. An expert who is not well prepared will rarely make a good impression. That makes sense. Okay. That well, really thank you makes very sense. much. You know, so much is common sense and we all go out there and it really get is. worried and forget about it. It really is. <laughs> and I think for experts, they should understand that they would they should appear on the witness stand as they would like an expert to appear. So it's somebody who is relatable, can explain the information in understandable terms, and comes to conclusions that make good sense to everybody. And I, I know that seems simple. Mm -hmm. It's simple in theory, but it's hard in practice. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for that whole presentation and taking a few minutes with us here. Um, it just really good information and uh, really effective. So well, thank you. I, I really appreciated the experience. Thank you so much. Wonderful.